Hey everyone, welcome back again to another Flutter tutorial. And in this session, we will look into how to integrate Firebase Crashlytics in our Flutter app. Basically, Firebase Crashlytics is a lightweight, real time crash recorder that can be easily integrated in our Flutter app in order to visualize the crash or exceptions happening in our Flutter app. Basically, it provides with a clear log of the exception that is happening in our Flutter app, with the help of which we will be able to do the rework and update the app in the next release. So, the Firebase Crashlytics is a free and open source service provided by the Firebase itself. Therefore, we can go for integrating this Firebase Crashlytics to any of our app, not just Flutter but also for Android and iOS. Therefore, in this video, we will look into how to integrate Firebase Crash Analytics in our Flutter app and see how the, we can visualize the crash that is happening in our Flutter app in real time. Let's try to understand this Firebase Crash Analytics with the help of a simple example. Here we have a sample Flutter app. We have two elevator buttons and the first button is going to throw exception whenever it is pressed. So inside the home page here we have two elevator buttons. And the first button whenever it is pressed, we just simply try to throw an exception. Just to mimic the process of any error logs happening in our Flutter app, we try to throw an exception and say the on press event of this button. And let's press this and you see that in the debug console, we get an exception happening here. And the second button is going to take us to the second page where inside the second page we have the same kind of thing you can also take a look at that inside the second page which is stateless widget we have two elevator buttons the first button is going to throw an exception just the same way what we have in the home page and second button is going to throw an exception but in this case we specify it as a format exception just to distinguish two different exceptions and see how to visualize them in the firebase crash analytics dashboard so let's try to click this format exception in the second page now let's head over to the firebase crash analytics dashboard and see how our logs are being maintained here in the Firebase Crash Analytics dashboard, you can see that we have logs of two exceptions that has happened and the first is going to be the exception that occurred in the home page. And if you click over that, under the key session, we will be able to find that the exception that has happened is just a simple exception thrown by the Flutter framework. This also provides with few other parameters like the device data and other metadata. Just the same way, let's head back to our dashboard and in the second page, we try to mimic the format exception. And we get the same kind of thing here in the keys tab. And if you pay attention, you will notice that second page we get the format exception being recorded. So this is how you can easily get the logs of any issues happening in a flutter app with the help of the Firebase Crash Analytics. This is basically pretty much how the Crash Analytics works. Here I have just shown you with a simple example of uh, throwing exception as well as format exception with the help of the on press button. But it can be extended to a wide variety of log scale applications like any HTTP request exception or network exception, so on and so forth. Therefore, without any further delay, let's directly jump into the coding part and get this done. First, let's start by creating a Flutter project and let's name it as Firebase Crash Analytics app. Here inside the home page, let's create a status widget class with empty scaffold. Just the same way, we can create the second page, which is again going to be a stateless widget class. Let's head over to the pub spec and try adding two packages here. And the packages are Firebase Crash Analytics, and the next one is the Firebase Core. Now we have created the Flutter project, and now let's head over to the Firebase and create a project over there. And here in the Firebase, let's start by creating a project. Once we have created a Firebase project, here in the Firebase console, let's click this Flutter icon and let's try to integrate our Flutter app on the Firebase. So the integration process is going to be very simple. With just three simple steps, we'll be able to easily integrate our Firebase with our Flutter app. And if you remember, we have also made a separate video of how to integrate our Flutter app and Firebase in three simple steps. And if you want to take a look at that, you can also do so. I will also leave the link for the video the card at the top right. The first process is we need to prepare our workspace which is already done in my case so let's skip that and, and in the second step we need to run the flutter 5 cli basically we need to copy these two commands and try to run in the terminal so let's head back to our vs code here let's open the terminal let's paste that code here let's copy the second code and paste it 
now we have successfully integrated a flutter app and firebase you can also see that here we have the firebase option the dart file be generated automatically so with the help of which we will be able to now use any of the firebase services in our flutter app therefore let's complete the final step by heading over to the firebase console third step is going to be the process of updating our main data file therefore let's copy this code and paste it in the main data file now we have almost completed the process of integrating firebase and our flutter app Therefore, now let's head over to the Firebase dashboard and try to search for Crash Analytics. Here in the all products, you'll be able to see the Firebase Crash Analytics here. Here under the Crash Analytics, you'll be able to see our apps being registered. Let's try running our Flutter app. Now, once you run our Flutter app, you will notice that here in the Firebase dashboard, it has detected a wrap and is waiting for a crash. So we need to invoke any crash manually in order to get the logs being displayed. So let's head over to our VS code and try to create a manual crash in our Flutter app. To get started with the coding side, inside the Flutter crash analytics package, you will notice that they have provided with the documentation to get started for integrating the crash analytics. So let's click this link. Here they have provided separate implementation for Android, iOS and Flutter. And for the Flutter framework, the implementation is going to be very simple. We just need to add the crash analytics to the Flutter project and which is already been done by our side. The second step is going to update the main method. So let's copy this code and here in the main data file, let's paste this code here. So with the help of which we can automatically catch all errors that are thrown within the Flutter framework. In order to catch any asynchronous errors that are in handled by the Flutter framework, we just need to add this code snippet here in the main method. Let's just paste that code. So that is the few lines of code we need to integrate in our main method in order to report any crashes that is happening in our Flutter app. And the third step is going to force test a crash. Therefore, copy this code, head over to the my home page, say the body will have a text button which when pressed will throw an exception. Upon clicking this, you see an exception has occurred. You can uncache the exception here in the VS code. Therefore, here in the debug console, you will notice that an exception has occurred upon pressing the text button. Now, let's see how it is being shown in the Firebase Crash Analytics dashboard. And here in the Firebase console, there has been a crash in our flutter app. And we also notice a log being created here. If you click this, it shows that inside the My Home page, we have an exception happening. So, basically, we got a log being created. And just the same way, here we have only one log being created for the home page. Let's have a, another button in the second page and try to create some other exception and see how it is being shown up in the console. So back to our VS code. Instead of throwing an exception, let's provide a navigation to second page. And here the second page, inside the body we have a button, basically an elevated button. And in down press event, let's try to create a format exception. Just for the testing purpose, you can have any text you want here. That will be displayed in the Firebase console as well. So let's click this button and guess we should have a format exception being logged in the Firebase dashboard. Let's head over to Firebase console now. Let's refresh this app. If you are unable to see any crash count here, then try restarting your app once again. So that might be a simple workaround. So initially we used to have only one log here, which is the home page exception. Now we have another log, which is a crash happening in the second page as well. If you click, you should now notice that under the key session, we, we get the format exception with the same kind of description what we have provided. So by this, you can extend this to even large scale application and try to create a clear log of the exceptions that are in handled by the Flutter framework. Hope you guys got a better understanding of how to integrate Firebase Crash Analytics in our Flutter app. If you want me to make more detailed tutorial about this topic, let me know them in the comments below. Hope you found this tutorial useful. If you do so, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.